Well, now to red tide. Pinellas County says it's cleaned up over 1,200 tons of dead fish and other red tide debris over the past month or so. Experts say things are showing a positive turn, but they're still closely watching the coast. Meanwhile, researchers are looking at new ways to track the toxic algae. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull shows us the view from above that Moat Marine Laboratory is now developing. <laughs> A view from the sky may help form a picture for those on the ground when it comes to toxic algae. This is essentially the same data that the satellites give you, just on a finer scale, much more real time and faster. Cody Cole is a staff biologist at Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. Like a satellite might make that whole thing one, one pixel, whereas, you know, I have 212 images within there. And right now he's working on a drone program. Moat launched them near Lido Key recently. This was the first flight actually over a red tide bloom. Cole explains the idea is the drones equipped with special sensors take images like these. We're more looking at light wavelengths reflecting out of the water. Moat then plugs the images into a program to extract the data, eventually forming a map. The whole idea behind using this data is to sort of develop our own algorithm based on what the satellites are using to sort of say, hey, this is most likely going to be red tide. We need to go and look here. Researchers say they're planning out more routine flights over the current bloom to continue their ground truthing process. So far, this bloom in the Tampa Bay region has left crews collecting more than 1,200 tons of red tide related debris in Pinellas County. The Fish and Wildlife Research Institute capturing these aerial images as crews keep an eye on the beaches and the bay. We're not out of the woods. Uh, but, but things are trending positively from the Bay's perspective. On the coast, we're seeing um, pretty substantial blooms. FWC's executive director says they're expanding sampling and have dedicated some aviation resources. Now, I'd like to be optimistic, but all indicators are this may be sticking around with us for at least the first, you know, next several weeks. But in the time ahead, Cole keeps working on these pictures. In Sarasota, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.